Mr. President, let me touch on one particular aspect of the Korea Free Trade Agreement that I find especially troubling, and I think the American people, to the degree they understand this and learn about it, will also find troubling. And that is that this particular free trade agreement will force American workers to compete not just against the low-wage workers in China or Vietnam or Mexico, they're going to be forced to compete against the virtual slave labor that exists in North Korea, the most undemocratic country in the world, and a country itself whose government will financially benefit from this agreement with the dictatorship of Kim Jong-il. Mr. President, we all know that in the current law, the U.S. has an embargo on all North Korea goods for a very good reason. Workers in North Korea are the most brutalized in the world, have virtually no democratic rights, and are at the mercy of the most vicious dictator in the world. But if the South Korea Free Trade Agreement is signed into law, the United States would have a new obligation to allow South Korean products to come into our country tariff-free that contain major parts made by North Korean workers who make pennies an hour. According to a January 2011 report from the Congressional Research Service, and I quote, there is nothing to prevent South Korean firms from performing intermediate manufacturing operations in North Korea and then performing final manufacturing processes in South Korea. In other words, there's a huge industrial park in North Korea. South Korean companies own that park. Workers there are paid horrendously low wages, and some of those wages go right to the North Korean government. Products made in that industrial park in North Korea will go to South Korea, and then will come back into the United States as part of that so-called free trade agreement. Today, over 47,000 North Korean workers are currently employed by more than 120 South Korean firms, including Hyundai, at the Kaesing Industrial Complex in North Korea. This facility is located just six miles north of the demilitarized zone with direct road and rail access to South Korea and just an hour's drive away from Seoul. These North Korean workers officially make a minimum wage of 35 cents an hour, but they actually make much less than that. Instead of paying these workers directly, Hyundai and the other South Korean firms pay the North Korean government. How's that? South Korean companies, major companies, pay the North Korean government. They take a piece of the action going to the most undemocratic, vicious dictatorship in the world. Products then go to South Korea, and then they're part of the free trade agreement with South Korea. In 2007, Han duk Su, who was then the prime minister of South Korea and is now the current South Korean ambassador to the United States said, and I quote, the planned ratification of the South Korea-U.S. free trade agreement will pave the way for the export of products built in Kaesong, North Korea, into the U.S. market, end of quote. So, what we have now is American workers forced to compete against desperate people all over the world who are making a tiny fraction of the wages that are paid in America forced to compete against countries where there are no environmental standards, where workers' unions are not recognized or respected. But now it gets even worse. American workers are now being forced to compete against the virtual slave labor in North Korea as part of this trade agreement. Okay, we're going to start with the Korean Free Trade Agreement. This one got an overwhelming vote. 83. Now, 83 to, uh, now technically, yeah, actually, um, Bernie Sanders didn't vote at all on this one, even though I am listing him as a no vote against it because he spoke out against it. And I know he would have voted against it. So, uh, 
So I know the actual vote will say 15 against it, and that, even though I'm going to, even though I'm going to read 16 senators against it. So yeah, there were two senators that didn't vote at all. On all uh, Coburn didn't vote at all on any of these free free agreements, and Bernie Sanders only didn't vote on the uh, Korean one. They voted against the other two. I would have liked it if he voted against the Korean one as well, but. And he chose, I guess he chose not to vote on that one, or maybe he just didn't get there in time for his vote, or whatever, I don't know. Okay, but here's the uh, vote on four free trade agreements, uh, just the, the Democrats and maybe a couple of Republicans I'll mention. I'm not going to mention all the Republicans that voted for these free trade agreements, who so pretty much say that, that we'll be here too long, I guess. So we'll, we'll mainly focus on Democrats, but I'll, we'll say some Republican names. Uh, let's see, Akaka of Hawaii, Bacchus of Montana, Beckett of Alaska, Bennett of Colorado, Bingaman of New Mexico, Boxer of California, okay, now we're reading a Republican name, Brown of Massachusetts, Scott Brown, my senator, one of my senators. Okay, we're back to Democrats. Uh, Cantwell of Washington State, Carper of Delaware, Conrad of North Dakota, Coons of Delaware. Okay, this is when I say that uh, Durbin, uh, oh, big big shot. Anybody who knows uh, Joe Mazaris or whatever his name was, it used to be on YouTube. Uh, hey, go tell him that Dick Durbin voted for the Korean Free Trade Agreement. In fact, they voted for the Panama one as well. I should say, uh, Sue Collins of Maine also voted for the Korean one. Uh, I know I'm missing a Republican now. Uh, Diane Feinstein of uh, California voted for the Korean one. Franken of Minnesota voted for Korea. Gillibrand of New York. Inouye of Hawaii. Johnson of South Dakota. My other senator, John Kerry of Massachusetts, also voted for it, for, for the Korean one. Klobuchar of Minnesota, Paul of Wisconsin, Mary the Bitch Landrew of Louisiana, Carl Levin of, of Michigan, Joe Lieberman of Connecticut. Yeah, I'm going to be saying his name wrong, Lieberman, because he's a liar. Claire McClaskill of Missouri, Joe Lonberg of uh, New Jersey, Robert Menendez of uh, New Jersey, McCluskey of Maryland, Patty Murray of Washington State, both Nelsons now, uh, Bill Nelson of Florida and Nelson of Nebraska. And we're we going to say a Republican name. Hey, all you Ron Paul guys! You Ron Paul! Ron Paul! Yeah, yeah! Ron Paul voted for the free trade... Well, actually voted for all three. <laughs> uh, free trade agreements. <laughs> so yeah, the Pauls! Fuck the Pauls, they suck! Uh, Pryor of Arkansas. Schumer of New York. Out that order, because now I'm going to Shaheen. <laughs> of New Hampshire. Stabenow of Michigan. Okay, both Udalls, both Senator Udalls, the one from Colorado and the one from New Mexico. Warner of Virginia. Oh man, this guy is such a uh, disappointment of the populist movement that got him in office. Jim Webb of Virginia. And this is a guy uh, we, that was brought under the draft Jim Webb uh, campaign. And he's consistently voted against. Uh, public needs. Wyden of Oregon. Okay, so those, those are the, those are all, pretty much all the Democrat names of some of the Republicans that voted for the, the Korean Free Trade Agreement. Yeah, we're going to go for the nose now, the nays. Now this time I'll be reading all the, all the names that were against the Free Trade Agreement, including any Republicans. Now, as I said, uh, the actual vote is 15 that were against the uh, Korean one, but I'll say 16 because Sanders would have voted against the Korean one. 
So, when I read Sanders' name, I'll, I'll mention that he really didn't vote at all on, free, on the uh, Korean Free Trade Agreement, but I know he would have voted against it. Blumenthal of Connecticut voted against this one. Sharon Brown of Ohio voted against this one. Cardin of Maryland. Bob Casey of Pennsylvania. Kay Hagan of North Carolina. Tom Harkin of Iowa. Thank you. Leahy, Patrick Leahy of Vermont. Manchin of West Virginia. Merkley of Oregon. Reed of Rhode Island. Harry Reed, Nevada. The, the majority leader. Uh, let's see. Rockefeller of West Virginia, okay. Sanders, of, Sanders of Vermont, Tester of Montana, uh, Snow of Rhode Island, a Republican, and White House, back to the Democrats, of uh, Rhode Island. Man, Snow's from Maine. <laughs> She's wondering, why did I say Rhode Island? My mistake. Okay, yeah, so those are the Senators that were against the Korean one.